Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are picking up here, right where we last left off. I did a little bit more uh, barricading in between episodes. Um, which windows did I do? I finished up... I think I just finished up all these windows on the main floor. Yeah, so all these should be barricaded now, so that's good. With at least one board, not like they're fully barricaded or anything. Uh, but today, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some more drying of fruits. Uh, thank you to Hydromancer X, uh, one of the uh, developers of the Hydrocraft mod. He uh, let me know what we were doing wrong with drying some of these fruits. Apparently we need to juice, uh, get lemon juice to uh, make certain uh, dried fruits. So let's take... Um, let's see, we got our peach here, uh, we can do some more orange slices, and try pineapple, alright, let's try these. So we need lemon juice, so to do that, we got our lemons, we need our lemon juicer that we found a couple episodes back, our juicer, there we go, we'll need a kitchen knife that we can grab from our backpack, or our lunch bag I should say. And let's take this out, because apparently we can put, once they are dried, we can put them into Ziploc bags. And I believe we did pick up some Ziploc bags. Yes, box of zipper bags. So let's take that. Alright, first things first, let's slice up our um, lemons. Slice orange. Dry some orange slices. Okay, maybe we don't need to slice them. Can we just juice it? Is it confused because there ha there's an orange here too? Let's try putting that away. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's try putting all these fruits away. Maybe it's just confused. Maybe there's too much stuff in our inventory. We might need a bowl as well. That's the only thing, other thing I can think of. We have one? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's unpack that. So I guess we'll need somewhere to put the juice once it is juiced. Alright. There we go, make lemon juice. Let's do it. So now we have a bowl of lemon juice. Fantastic. So, if we go back to our... Uh, well, we can do orange, that's fine. Don't need the juice for that. But let's try pineapple and peaches. Let's see if either of these will allow us to dry them. We got our baking trays here. Got our lemon juice. Let's try this out. So the orange slices we know we can do. Dry some orange slices. Peaches. Dry some peach slices. Here we go. So you don't need to cut these ones up first. Or I guess you don't need to cut up either first. And it doesn't look like we can... Unless we ran out of lemon juice, we did. Let's make some more lemon juice. See if we can do these pineapples as well. Mm, apparently not. Let's try strawberries. Oh, we can dry some strawberry slices. There we go. Uh, well, I doubt you can do watermelon. That doesn't really make sense. You can slice it, yeah. Okay. Uh, cherries, can we do cherries? I wouldn't think so. No. So we got dried strawberry slices. Doesn't have an image yet, but that's fine. Oh, I guess we don't have any more trays either. Anyway, so. Okay, let's turn on an oven here. Throw our uh, drying orange slices and peach slices and strawberry slices in there. Let that cook while we still have some power. Let's just see here. Might as well make some more lemon juice. Keep that in the fridge. Cherries we'll put back in our lunch bag. And so we got one more lemon left. Can still make some more. Oh, is this cooking yet? Yeah, it is. Drying out the orange slices. 
Right, let's open all these just so we don't miss anything. Speed that time up a bit. There we go. Dried, dried, dried. Fantastic. Let's turn that off. Now let's try and put this stuff into some bags. There we go. Dried strawberry slices has an image. So it's just the uh, prior stage is missing the, the icon. That's fine. We know what it is. Unbox the zipper bags. Okay, so this goes down here, I assume. 100 zipper bags. Store dried peach slices in bag. All. I guess. Let's do that. And... A bag of dried peach slices. Fantastic. Let's do the same for our orange slices. Do all those. Do our strawberry slices. Uh, so one of the suggestions was uh, for us to hit up the Gigamart that's nearby. Let's put these uh, zipper bags back. Put our knife and lemon back in our bags. Our lunch bag, I should say. Might as well put our pineapple in there as well. It'll fit. Nope, it won't. Will lemon fit? No, it won't. What's in here? We'll get rid of the strawberries because they're rotten. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, maybe there's just not going to be enough room for everything. Oh, looks like the dried strawberry slices doesn't have an image now. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, let's put the rest of the stuff away. Uh, in between episodes, I did organize our refrigerators a little bit, so we got veggies in here. Uh, it should be all veggies and then tofu as well. We've got kind of meat and miscellaneous food items. Oh, I do have a fridge for cola, but that's fine. So our meats are in there. Tupperware with food. We'll start curing, salting some uh, uh, of the meats today too, I think. Uh, once we, probably near the end of the episode, and then all our fluids in this back fridge. So let's put our lemon juice in here. Put our lemon and our juicer in there. Keep all that together and the pineapple. Let's eat some chips. So we are hungry. We're tired. <laughs> We're bored. We're getting sad. Oh, things are rough. And let's put all these dried slices in there as well. Okay. Baking trays can go with the rest of our kind of trays and cooking items. Now we should be good. That's what all we need. I'll put that in our bag so we can throw it out later. Equip that uh, primary. Okay. So let's see here. 3.30. We're super tired. Let's rest for a couple hours. Oh, I don't know. It, we got It's a little late for a nap, but let's let's nap for a couple hours here very tired um, we'll take some vitamins so we don't tire as quickly we'll have to get into the habit of doing that I think and let's head out to see if we can't make our way up to that gigamart get some more fruits to dry uh, they also uh, Hydromancer X also mentioned that there is a hardware store nearby I looked at the map, but I couldn't see uh, anything labeled as a hardware store, so we're going to have to take a, a look for ourselves. But the Gigamart is down this way. Let's try and not attract too much attention. Let's walk past this group. Oh, did they see us? No, they didn't see us. Alright, let's walk past this group. We're still looking for an axe, so if we could find that hardware store, it'd be awesome. This is the pharmacy down here. Um, well, I guess if there's no one around, maybe we should just loot this one right now. Hope we don't cut our hand. No, we're okay. Alright, let's stock up on medicine here. Uh, let's drop off these rotten strawberries. Newspaper. Alright, let's stock up on this stuff. We'll do a quick loot of, of this store. Kind of sort out all our medical needs. 
Don't have to worry about. Come on. All right, we'll just do this one. Won't have to worry about medicine for a while. With all this stuff. I don't know if there's anything new. I wasn't really looking. Tongue depressor. I guess that's new. Another first aid kit. I've just been blindly grabbing stuff. Bandages. Suture needle. It looks all pretty much the same. Okay, so we're full there. Let's see how much more stuff is here. Beta blockers. Painkillers. Yeah, there should be quite a bit of stuff in here for us to... To loot? Oh my god. And all back here? Oh, and there's food back here. Awesome. Okay, well, let's close that for a second. Are there fruits here? Pizza, pork chops, vegetables. Wow. Lighter, a couple pistols. I doubt they're any better. Oh, it's got an iron sight. I don't know if that's better than our uh, laser and red dot. Messenger bag. Oh, another suggestion was when we do start getting depressed is to play with um, toys and stuff. So I don't, I don't know if we can play with playing cards, but uh, we'll take some. More, lots of medical supplies. So we should be fine on that front now. We can always come back, okay. I think that's about... Wow, look at all this stuff. Look at, look at all these first aid kits, too. Two, three... There's probably six or seven in, in this... Uh, this pharmacy. Alright, that light works. <laughs> I noticed our light in our hotel doesn't work again today. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're set for uh, medical supplies. Um, let's head back out. Drop this stuff off. I will cut back when we are ready to head down to the Gigamart. Alright, it's the next day. Not that early in the morning. We did sleep for 12 hours, but as you can see, it wasn't quite enough. Let's just run past all these zombies for now. Uh, I did take some vitamins when I first got up, so hopefully that slows down the uh, tired process. And we'll take another one around noon, if we remember. So all those medical supplies have been dropped off. Looks like we've got a little camping site here. Interesting. Take a quick look in here. Golf bag, ski mask. Because we do have zombies following us, so we should make this quick. Crowbar head trimmers, any axes, paper clips. Uh, aluminum bat, hot glue gun, more clay. Umbrella. I guess I'm not checking both. Here we go. Another animal cage, battery, mop, pool cue. I guess the aluminum bats have a higher durability than the uh, regular wood bats, but they can't be upgraded, so. Should last us a bit longer, but uh, we won't be able to attach any uh, parts to it. This little campsite here. I wonder if we can use this campfire. No. Cardboard box, we won't take the magazine. Okay. Let us head down here. I think this is the Gigamart right here in front of us. As our heart pounds in our chest. Is there a back door? Yes, there is. Not unlocked, though. Let's check these garbage cans quickly. Garbage bag, we'll take that. All right, let's try and sneak around Frontier and get inside without notifying this couple groups of zombies. Hmm, they're right by the door we need to get in, and it doesn't look like there's any broken windows yet. Here, let's go around the back side. Maybe there'll be another door. Uh, we could try breaking down this door with our bat, if we really needed to. Alright, let's see if we can run back here. Or not run, but, but walk. Walk at a leisurely pace. Alright, no other doors. No windows at the back corner. Okay, let's go back to this other door. 
try getting it in through there. Well, I'll tell you, once we do find an axe, there's definitely not, uh, no shortage of trees for us to chop down. Alright, did this other group out front, did they move along? I saw a couple zombies move away. Mm, they're still there. I don't really want to take them on right now with just this baseball bat. So we'll try to get in, into this door. Just make sure these guys aren't coming up. Alright. There we go. That was a little risky, <laughs> speeding up time there with so many zombies around. But it would just take too long otherwise. Okay, so food is already going bad. The stuff that's been left out anyway. We'll take the pickles. Zucchini's still fine. We'll take that. Let's take uh, the store knob with us as well. Pickles. Uh, I assume all this food's gonna be rotten too, hey? Avocado we'll take. It's too bad. Uh, we are, what day are we at here? Nine days in. So I guess uh, too long for food to be left out, obviously. Looks like the same, uh, so let's just be the same building as the one in West Point. Same layout. Looks like we got some uh, graffiti on the walls though behind us. What does it say? Can't really tell. Pineapple's still fine. Rotten apple. You can dry apples. Uh, we're getting a little hungry again. Let's just eat a pickle. Ah, uh, let's eat half of it. Um, ooh, we're exhausted. Okay, we're gonna need somewhere to sit down. Are there any chairs back here? Hmm. Didn't really think that one through, did I? Well, let's just grab what we can then and we'll... There's no one in here, so... Let's hit up these refrigerated units. We'll grab... I think we'll just focus on grabbing fruits that we can dry right now. A bottle of, or a jar of kimchi. Cool, I'll take that. So we'll just grab all the, I don't know if we can dry bananas or not, we can try. Some soy milk, we'll take the soy milk. Uh, bell pepper. We'll come back for these vegetables later, I think. We'll just focus on uh, fruits. So if we can dry up a ton of food, it should last us a while. I don't know if you can dry avocados. Uh, more hot sauce. Carrots, grapes, more strawberries, good. Bananas. Nanas. Banana nanas. Alright, these should all be dried foods. There should be some more fridges on this wall, yep. Orange will take. Banana. And then we should be set for food for quite a long time. The combination of our jarred items. Some pineapple soda, wow. Some lemon lime soda. Look at all these options. But the combination, oh, and lemon juice, nice. The combination of our jarred stuff and uh, all these dried fruits should last us a long time, I would think. Oh, some shotgun shells. Don't mind if we do. Susan's itching to use her shotgun. Canned pineapple. All right, we'll come back for this stuff. Fortune cookie. Yeah. I don't know if there's any more. I don't think there's any more fridges. There could be more ammunition back here, though. Uh, okay, all rotten. Rotten, rotten. Pickles, pineapples, take those. So the zucchini and pineapples uh, tend to stay fresher longer. Might as well take this stuff. So it's going to go rotten soon. Oh, oh, what do we got in here? Over here? Pickles, zucchini. Okay, well, there was quite a bit of rotten stuff here, but we did grab... A fair amount of fresh vegetables, which should be good. Corn. Oh, just missing a. 
Or do they, uh, they must have taken that out for the mod. Hmm, interesting. Alright, this stuff I assume is gonna be all rotten. Well, if it's not, we'll take it before it does go rotten. Oh, and pickles. We love our pickles. They last forever. Apple, cabbage, pickles. Pineapple. Okay. Hopefully no zombies <laughs> come after us because we can't run it all, guys. We are handicapped. All right, 130. We're exhausted already. I guess it's from knocking down that door. Let's take another vitamin. Breaking down a door with a baseball bat takes takes a round out of you. Eggplant, banana water, okay, all rotten. Once we get a uh, compost bin up, we can come back for all this rotten food. Provide us with a, a ton of usable compost. All right, looks like that's about it for this area. We'll check behind the counters here. Wish there was a chair in here. Some pepper, magazine, newspapers, chips, we'll take those. More shotgun shells, another trowel, garbage bag. Does that light work? Oh, it does. I don't know, I'm skeptical about all the uh, uh, light switches now. Not sure which ones will work. Take the jar lid, take more shotgun shells. I thought there might be some ammunition in here. Usually is. In these gigamarts. Oh, and another shotgun. Uh, we got a bit of room for that, let's take it. Lighter, we got a few of those already. I don't even know in the whole hundred and some episodes of Wayne's Adventure, we actually went through a, a full lighter. So that's probably not a big deal. Alright, pineapple, rotten, more pineapple, more pickles, a zucchini, orange, three pineapples. We'll be eating pineapples for days. Rotten zucchini. Tomatoes still good, we'll take that. More zucchini, avocado's still fine. Avocado, oh, we are pretty full here. We'll just toss the rest into this bag and then we'll get out of here. Avocado. So can we make a guacamole? Holy moly, guacamole. Um, I won't bother opening those bathrooms, just in case there are zombies in there. Oh, there is a, a chair upstairs, isn't there? Forgot about that. Alright, hopefully there's no one up here. See, like, this one doesn't work. I'm not crazy. Post-it note. Empty a sealed letter. Ooh, there's blood under this door. Are there zombies in here? No, there aren't. Someone just bled out or had a bloody nose. Something happened here. All right, let's close this door. We'll rest up here. Um, maybe let's just, let's see, it's uh, 2.50. Let's sleep. Let's sleep for three hours. Take another vitamin when we wake up. Oh, wow, that didn't do anything. Okay, so be it. Take pills. Okay. That one works. Let's try this again. No. All right, let's head back to base, drop off this food. Uh, might do some more drying of fruits. Is that something on the ground? No, just garbage. Oh, there's that group of zombies. 
Don't mind us. Don't mind Susan. She's just surviving. So let's drop this stuff off. We'll uh, see if we can't. I think they're too far away to see us, hey? Just be safe. We'll, oh, there's someone over there too. All right, well, at least we're going through the front door. Let's try uh, juicing a few more things. Grab our trays. Okay. Grab our bowl of lemon juice. Grab our juicer. Our extra lemon. Did we try? We haven't tried the pineapple slices, so let's try that. I'll grab some bags. Tell them to grab all, but we're obviously not going to use them all. Okay. And let's unpack those. Couple of those. Oh. I'll, whatever. Peaches will unpack. Uh, unpack the strawberries. Alright, well, we only have four trays, so. Oh, we need our knife out. Let's equip our lunch bag. Might as well eat something as well. Oh, we can try some bananas too. Uh, let's eat. Uh, Eat a cherry. Does that do anything? A little bit. Okay. Let's see here. Juicer. What do we need to do here? Orange. What's what's going on here? Got our baking tray. What are we missing? Baking tray. Do I take out the knife? Maybe I didn't take out the knife. There we go. All right. Let's make some banana chips. I'm sure. Let's make some orange slices. Need to juice some more of our lemon. Make lemon juice. So that's the last of our lemons. Make some dried peach slices. I assume we can get two uses. Oh no, just the one. All right, let's take out our lemon juice that we found. And last one. Make some more strawberry slices. Or baked strawberry slices. Is it? Did I did I get everything? All right, we got try. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, let's turn this on. Boop. Put in our dried fruits. Open that up. Pull this down a little bit. Speed up the clock. And we got another skill point. All right, take all that stuff. Turn off that oven. Put all this lovely dried food into some Ziploc bags. There we go. And how much of our lemon juice is left? So we do need to find some more lemons. We're going to continue juicing. Good thing is that there are these bottles of lemon juice that we'll be able to... Uh... Oh, I'm just going to keep the knife in there for now. Uh, bottles of lemon juice that we should be able to find. Put the pineapples in there. Strawberries. Okay, let's we'll drop off the rest of these. Fruits on our backpack. So we can still try and make apple, uh, dried apple slices. That'd be good. Speed time up there. Okay. Vegetables. Uh, power and water will be going out shortly, though. It's set to go out within the first 30 days, and we're nine days in. Almost ten days in now. Oh, there's a, a loud gunshot. It's 9 o'clock p.m. Jeez, time flies. Time flies when you're drying fruits. Put our milk items away. 
Uh, so I'll cut back uh, in the morning and we'll uh, see if we can't find where this hardware store is. All right, 10.30 the next morning, still tired, took the vitamins. Um, here, oh, there's a the Ziploc bag still, let's put those away. Before we hit the road, we're a little, little sad, getting a tad weepy, so let's, um, let's play with these playing cards for a little bit here. See if that perks Susan up. There we go. Let's do it one more time. Oh, we used up the cards. Junk. It's now junk. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, Project Zomboid. <laughs> she, she gets bored with the cards after she's seen them once. So, I'm not really sure where we should go to look for the hardware store. Uh, we could head down towards the fire station and police station, because that looks, kind of looks like a downtown area. Can't catch me. We run so fast when we're panicked. Supposedly. Hard to tell. But let's take a run down the road. I've got our shotgun and pistol in our, our uh, backpack. Oh, let's try and avoid this group. Oh, and that group. And that one. It's never ending. Okay. So, let's get around these guys. So I don't think any of these would be a hardware store, do you think? It looks more like bookstores. And restaurants. Could try down in this plaza. Oh my god, there's so many. Well, maybe we should, uh... Let's take out the shotgun here. Do some damage. Uh, equip both hands. Get rid of some of these zombies. Extreme panic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unpack those shotgun shells. Just keep moving, Susan. You'll do fine, as long as you keep moving. Pack our boxes of shotgun shells. We've already got three boxes. Probably have even more uh, loose rounds back at uh, the hotel. Oh my god, this takes so long to reload. <laughs> Maybe the shotgun isn't the best bet. Well, we'll do one round of the shotgun, then we can switch out to the pistol if we want. We'll get the pistol out and ready. Wow, this takes forever when we're panicked. Okay, so apparently a shotgun is not going to be a smart move with our traits. Okay, box of 9 mil ammo, we'll get that unpacked. So at least the pistol is just a clip we can just pop in. Doesn't take very long. Oh, still a bit left to reload. One left. Garbage bag, take that. Alright, is this a hardware store maybe? What do you think? Maybe this is the hardware store. Well, let's... Let's do some shooting. Might as well reload between each one. Oh god. <laughs> Alright guys, come down here. Come down here. Keep reloading while we can, so it takes forever. Uh, let's drag them out this way, and hopefully we can search uh, those businesses down there, at least. Uh. She almost got us. All right, reload a couple more. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, let's take them all to the construction site. So just run around here. Oh my god. That might not be a smart idea. Why are there so many zombies in Bedford Falls? Yes, come up here, zombies. Come over to the construction site. So I don't think we'll be up here for a while. 
Run up this way. Reload, reload. Hopefully we can lose them up here. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a lot of zombies here. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Susan's freaking out. She doesn't like to be outside. Don't ask me why. She had a bad experience with a tree. One time. Oh, and that's empty. Okay, let's switch out to the pistola. Try and lose these zombies. Try and do three things at once. Uh, equip primary. There we go. Oh, uh, a soccer field. All right, let's try and get them all back up in here. This would be a good place. I don't think we can upgrade anything, can we? Oh, our blunt maintenance. Let's throw that in there now. I was hoping for aiming or something. Mm, come on. Come on, Susan. Deadeye. Deadeye Susan. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone up here. Oh god, she's empty. Reload slowly. Sorry for the frames, guys. There's uh, some stuttering today. Some days it's good. Some days it's not so good. Some days it's horrible. Wow. Our aim is not very good. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's a dead end. Don't go in there. <laughs> that's a dead end. Don't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> it. Run away. Run away. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Everyone come up this way. We're trying to... Trying to clear a path for us to loot. Alright, open box. Good. Do that quickly. Ooh, what is this? This looks like a proper fire station, is it? Or is it just a path through? Just a parking lot, maybe? Alright. Can I go? Is this a dead end? No, that's probably a dead end. Oh god, this is probably a bad idea. Get out of there! Alright, run around the building. Lose everyone. Alright, switch back to our bat. Get our bag back on our secondary slot. Another spiffos out here. Yeah, let's just run around everything. Hopefully we can lose them. Okay. Calm down, Susan. We'll make it. You got a, a semi-professional in charge here. Did I ever tell you that I helped Wayne survive for a hundred episodes? <laughs> Alright. Run past this group. Oh wow, some apartment buildings. Oh my. To the the George Decay. Oh my. My god, there's so many zombies, guys. How are we gonna lose everyone? There's not there's no big clumps of trees that we can run behind. Can we hop in here? No. Oh, here we go. Here's some woods. This will help us lose them. Follow the path to freedom. Freedom and safety, Susan. This looks like it's just going deeper into the woods, though. I don't know if we want to be going this way. Okay, screw that. Head back. We'll have to, uh... Oh, we're getting hungry, too. Uh, eat a banana. 
Okay. Let's take another vitamin, even though I don't think it'll do anything because we're already very tired. Alright, can we run through here without being seen? Semenier. Okay, this might work, guys. I don't know how good of a job we did of clearing an area out, but uh, they all seem to be huddled down there by the public bathrooms. So there's a group there. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Panic, Susan! <laughs> Panic. Well, that didn't really work. Maybe a little bit, but... There still seems to be quite a few down here. Oh my god. Okay, run down here. Oh my god, we're so tired too. We gotta get back. We gotta get back home. Okay. Run this way. Well, it looks like once we get back around the end of the episode, guys, I'm kind of going a little bit over time. Over the usual 30-some minutes. So let's get safe. We uh, stocked up on more fruits for us to dry today. I tried clearing out an area here for us to search. I don't know. We did bring up quite a few zombies up there, so maybe. Maybe it'll be enough. Let's try and get back to uh, home base without getting eaten. Still don't know where the hardware store is. If you do know, let me know. It looks like it's just a bunch of restaurants around here. But leave me a comment below, guys, if you know about where we should head to. If you don't want to tell me exactly, that's fine, but a general idea would be appreciated. Because we need that axe. Our other option, if we can't find the hardware store, is just to uh, start searching garages and that kind of stuff. Extreme panic, exhausted, <laughs> excessive exertion, a little sad, and fairly heavy load. Maybe we'll put our shotgun maybe back in our backpack, that'll lighten the load a bit. Same with our pistol. Okay, they didn't see us. One did, that's fine. Run home, Susan. Run home. Oh, and they're blocking our... our entrance. I don't think we can sneak. I don't think she's that sneaky. We'll try. Nope, not that sneaky. Run away! Uh, too tired. Uh, can we just sneak in here? Get rested up. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'll take care of the zombie uh, if he does try and come in. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Things are just going to be hard going with Susan and uh, the traits we've picked for her. Um, I'm not sure the uh, uh, the tiredness one and the uh, agoraphobic were actually good picks. But it's definitely keeping things interesting. So uh, leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later.